good morning. If you have directions that you're trying to provide to people, but they're starting out from different locations, and you don't account for those different locations when you give your directions, they're not going to end up at the same place. Now, this is true, but it also is deceptive in that we try and apply this fundamental dynamic to things other than just physical directions. We do the same thing with respect to philosophical concepts. We think that if we just walk someone through an argument or a discussion or a series of data points that support an eventual conclusion, that regardless of where they started from, we know exactly where they're going to end up. And it doesn't work. It might work every now and again. There's times when, you know, random chance will get you what you need in order for that particular effort to have not been in vain. But more often than not, it's not going to have the impact that you desire. It's not going to produce the result that you desire because you've presumed that, you know, somebody else is first and foremost going to need the same exact information, then the same exact presentation, the same exact path, and so on and so forth. Not everybody needs that. Not everybody's going to be on the same page. And so instead of trying to figure out oneself and just know thyself really well, and well, this is what it took for, for me to understand this concept, and, and so I just need to get really good at this, it's helpful to get out of your own head and to try and learn about how other people have come to understand things. Paul talks about this in the New Testament when discussing, you know, for the Romans, he became Roman. For the Greeks, he became Greek. Um, he was trying to adapt how he interacted with people based on who they were already instead of just presuming that there was, you know, a one trick pony. You know, this is this is the evangelism plan that's going to work for everybody. He had to adapt and accommodate the people he was talking to as part of his efforts to get them to understand something. Likewise, the internet allows for people of similar mindset to congregate very easily, but it produces this false sense of similarity to where I have run into a lot of circumstances where, where people presume that if they agree on one topic, then there are going to be a number of other topics that they're also going to agree on. Or that if everybody is uh, present for one personality or for one uh, theme or topic or whatnot, uh, that there's going to be uh, sufficient common ground on other topics. And it's uh, one of those like no duh things. But, you know, when I thought about that and, and how people interact with each other, um, we find that there is a, a lot of difference. You know, there are people who will agree on one thing and disagree on everything else. And it creates this fracturing of relationships, which is really unfortunate. And it's really something that we, we got to figure out how to stop because it's these divisions on various stances that people exploit in order to prevent people from having any sort of unity with one another. And I mean, there are limits, uh, especially if you were dealing with folks that have uh, incredibly disparate desires and uh, proclivities. But there are basic levels of cohesion for a society that we can sustain even if we don't agree on everything, even if we have a different take on stuff. And that's made worse, again, by presuming that, oh, well, if we agree on one topic, we're going to agree on other topics. And so instead of focusing on how to to talk to other people, how to teach them, to train them, how to get good at bringing people to the same eventual destination, uh, we simply plant a flag and then declare everybody who doesn't stand by the flag has some sort of an issue. And we play these little tribalism games, not realizing that there are people who would be happy to join the tribe, so to speak, um, if we just put in the effort to talk to them, to present information as they would need to hear it or see it, you know, it becomes a, it's like a game where because of how many people are on the internet, folks feel like they don't have to value the individual relationships as much as they should, that somebody else will be along shortly to replace this person. So it doesn't matter if I am dismissive or if I discredit or I'm not really giving them enough time or effort to a person. You know, it's like this is a person on the other side of the keyboard, on the other side of the screen. But 
because it, there are so many other people connected through the same systems. It's like, well, I, I don't have to be picky. I don't have to be choosy. I don't have to worry about this particular individual. I can just go find another. And and it's and it's cultivating a lack of detach or a, a, a detachment, a, a lack of attachment that is, is really pernicious. It's really, it shows up everywhere. Um, even in the real world, uh, people have, not lived in a, a genuinely compartmentalized fashion. And so that with their real relationships, they end up applying the same mentality. Uh, the number of people who are flaky, who do not commit to time, spending time together, who want to just retreat to a safe place where they can just pick and choose whatever interactions they want. And, you know, that's, that's their safe space. That's their, their comfortable zone. It, it, there's, it's it's breaking down relationships the 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 initiation as well as the sustaining of them you know it's it's created a false reality and because people think that they've got truth that that somehow that folks can rally around that and that if they just stand by the truth then you know then they're going to have unity because other people are going to be standing by the truth alongside of them except that there are a lot of truths to stand by and just standing by any truth isn't going to get you the result that you want. It is not going to be enough. There are very few truths that are worth standing by in the first place that such that, you know, just picking a truth and standing by it isn't going to get you what you want. Um, you got to learn how to have relationships with folks. You got to learn how to interact with people who disagree with you. You got to learn how to accept that there are going to be people who agree on one topic and disagree on another but that doesn't mean it's the end of the relationship. It's the end of the interactions. That there is no hope or there, there is no um, future for being able to get along with that person. Because here's the thing. I mean, 2 plus 2 equals 4. But does that matter if I'm in the middle of eating a meal? Does that matter if uh, I need to put a bandage on one of my kids? You know, it's true. But it's not what's most relevant. And we're seeing right now that what's most relevant and it's, and it's not again, it's not that truth doesn't matter, but what's most relevant is relationships, learning how to get along with people, learning how to bring other people along the journey, figuring out where they're at and how to get them to where you're at and then together going someplace new. That's going to be something that's going to be really critical going on into the future. And, and we don't practice that when we just stand by truth, when we just dismiss people because they don't agree, when we just leave things as they are and don't develop the skills that we need that we can take with us regardless of who is around us. We need to practice commitment, practice interaction, and then and then see where it goes. See who we are alongside. Because chances are good we're not going to agree on everything. But if we have a, a devotion to one another, if we have a commitment to working together on that journey, then it'll be a good journey, even if it's difficult. It'll be a journey that's worth taking. So I hope to see you alongside. And if I don't, teach me how to see what you see. Teach me where you're at so that I can learn how to either get there myself or to get you to where I'm at. And then together, let's go somewhere fun. Let's go somewhere interesting. Let's go somewhere challenging. Let's go somewhere. Thanks for your time. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.